Hey, it's Jim Fisher, AKA The Beat, with This Week Community News. I'm at the Ohio State Fair. This year they're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the All Ohio State Fair Youth Choir. And I've got a current member and an uh, alumni here with us uh, to share a little bit of their experience in the group. Vanessa Gibson, she's from Pickerington, and uh, Tracy Colt Bowling, also from Pickerington, strangely enough. But <laughs> you, there's a, a, a connection there that you'll tell us about in a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, Vanessa, how many years have you been in the group? I've been in the choir four years. This is your fourth year? Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's fun. You keep coming back. Yes, I love it. Yeah, what are some of the fun things you've had a chance to do while you've been down here? Um, definitely making new friends that have just lasted forever and um, getting to have a lot of fun fair food. <laughs> uh, absolutely, fair food, right? Uh, yes. And you guys stay here for a week, right? Oh, no, we stay here for 18 days. 18 days. Oh, you come before the fair yes. starts? we come six days before the fair starts, okay. and we're here the entire time until it ends. Uh, Tracy, this is uh, an anniversary year for you, right? You were in the group uh, when? 1983. 1983, so your 30th, 30th anniversary. anniversary. Um, and uh, your daughter and Vanessa were in the group for a couple years together? Yeah, Kathy was, my daughter was in it from 2008 to 2011, and then she was in the Cardinal Corral the following year. What are some of the fun memories you have from being in the choir? The, the Coliseum show, the ODNR. Okay. And when we were here, there was no grass on the rocks. We were sitting on the rocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that old. You guys have it easy. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, they've got air conditioning. We didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> um, so, and the rehearsals uh, are, are probably sort of a little helter-skelter, but probably a lot of fun, too. Yeah, we rehearse like all day and during rehearsal week, and then when the fair starts, that's when we start doing our like performances and then getting into the rhythm of things. Absolutely. Well, have a great time at this year's fair. Thanks, you both, for spending some no time problem. with us. Thank you so much. And now with me is uh, Chad Putka. Chad is uh, on staff here with the choir. Chad, how are you? Doing great. How are you? Thanks for being with us. I'm yeah. doing well. Thank you. Um, so uh, you started out as a singer and then have sort of graduated into a staff position here. Tell us about the uh, your experience with the choir. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was uh, a member of the choir for three years okay. uh, when I was in high school. Then I went to the counselor and training program, which is an absolutely fabulous program that I am now in charge of Okay. in my fourth year on staff here. So. Okay. And uh, uh, you're from Worthington. That's right. You were a, a, a student in Worthington when you were, the, when you were a singer here. That's correct. Um, and you went to a music school where? I went to Oberlin Conservatory, which is up in Lorain County, Ohio. Okay, so a great experience for you Absolutely. to get to spend the summer here with the choir too, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so you're on site for about two and a half weeks mm -hmm. here. I guess tell us about the process that leads up to that because there's Absolutely. a whole uh, a selection process that takes place prior. Right. Well, uh, the selection process for choosing the choir is happening all throughout the year. Okay. Um, we generally send out the applications um, around February and we contact schools from all around the state, but also okay. staff people have their eyes out for gotcha. kids that might be good choices. Okay. Um, and then uh, once people are chosen around May, we send out acceptance letters and that sort of thing sure. and then come uh Come July, the staff show up a couple days early, then the singers show up, uh, descend upon the fairgrounds, sure. we rehearse for about six days straight, okay. eat, sleep, sing, that's about it. And then uh, <laughs> after that, we're into performances, and by the end of the fair, they will have about uh, 60 to 70 songs in their repertoire that they can choose and from. Do you know how many performances, say, from the beginning to the end of the fair? Absolutely. Um, so, uh, it's about 100, that's maybe even more. We that's do several incredible. kind of planned performances a day, but we also serenade vendors around the stair, okay. uh, the the fair, and 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 people that have have done good things for us. So I got you, very good. Um, so is there something that stands out in your mind too? I mean, obviously, as a singer who's decided <laughs> to sort of stick around, if you will, right. um, what what's sort of the attraction for you? Um, well, it's interesting, and it's kind of changed. You know, when I was in the choir, it was about the musical experience, okay. yes, but it's also about making uh, great friendships and relationships with people around the state. And now that I am on staff, I've kind of, of course, shifted my perspective, sure. and it's about giving. Back Back and giving that experience to, to people that I so enjoyed when I was a singer. And being on staff for the 50th uh, anniversary mm -hmm. celebration has got to be a fun experience. Oh too, yeah, fun. it's awesome. We're doing some uh, interesting things going kind of back to our roots. Uh, some of the music that we're doing is favorite stuff from back in the old days okay. of the choir. And there are a few uh, venues that we're revisiting on oh, the fairgrounds that we haven't been to in a while. Okay. So it's really exciting time. And for folks to find out a little bit more about the choir mm -hmm. uh, and, and what they're up to, uh, what's, where should they go on the web? Well, you can go to www.aosfyc.com and there will be a schedule there. Okay. You'll see what's going on with us every day at the fair. All right. Chad, thanks for spending some time. Really appreciate yeah, it. My pleasure. Have a great time at this year's fair. For more Thank on you. arts and entertainment in Central Ohio, check out The Beat in your local This Week community news and online at thisweeknews.com.